tuned in no nonsense reseller real quick one today going to start off with a few sales I've actually had that seemed to go down pretty well last time so first up a Panasonic NVHV 60EB VHS recorder not a bad model at all. I do believe it plays NTSC as well as PAL and has long play and short play and video plus and all the rest of it if you can remember that. I purchased this for £3.99 in a charity shop and I got £24.95 for it but of course there's free postage there and it's a fairly heavy item. Still, decent profit. Always grab VCRs. Even more money if you can get the remote control. I recently got a whole load of farmyard toys and I've been doing really well with them. But this one's recently sold. A uh, JCB small die-cast model from 2005. I believe it was produced in China, but they call this a, a British JCB, which is what it is. Anyway, I paid £2 for it at a charity shop and it sold for £12.92, 3p and p of course. I found a bunch of vinyl at one charity shop and I shall go over all of the ones that have sold. Uh, the least we can do is wave to each other by Van der Graaff Generator, which is a progressive rock act. I believe they're out of Manchester, very good band as a matter of fact so this sold for 24.95 in medium condition you've got to know what you're doing with vinyl as long as the vinyls itself is in good nick you're on to a winner generally but if you can get the jacket in great condition too you can command even more money but not not bad at all uh, 24.95 i'll go over that what i paid for them all at the end of this little segment. H to the he. Who am the only one? Which is another Van der Gaff generator album. From I think it's 1972. Excellent album. Sold for £37.95. Again. Good used condition. But nothing mint or anything like that but the vinyl itself was was nice a lot of people are asking actually what the record sounds like play testing so if you can play test a record even better and you can go into detail about if there's any sort of crackling or popping this is the last record which i purchased in this bundle i paid nine pound for them anyway this one went for an astronomical £42.95. It's by a different band, another progressive rock act, I believe out of England somewhere. It's the first press, Harvest Records, Quartermass, and it's a self-titled debut album. Again, it's excellent. I'd like to have kept it, but, you know, you can't keep everything. One more here. The Future Sound of London. Proto rave hardcore act from, of course, the Big Smoke. This has got a few different mixes on it, but it's a massive old rave anthem. Papua New Guinea, twelve inch. I got it for fifty p at a charity shop, and it sold for eleven pounds ninety five, three p and p of course. Always look out for original pressings because they're worth an awful lot more money. This here is a remote control Dalek. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it to work, which is a bit annoying. I won this as part of an auction job lot. I didn't pay a lot for the job lot at all. I actually think I might have paid £2 for the entire lot. But anyway, this went on to sell for £12.50. Nice little car boot find here. I'm a big fan of Scooby-Doo. 
This bundle here cost me £4, and you know what, there's not a huge return on it, but there's something in it. It's a few years old, now the mystery machine, in good condition, always goes for decent enough money. Look, I mean, there's one there, although that's a different model for £6, £31 if it's in its original packaging. And there's an actual bundle at the top there. They took a best offer somewhere around £19.99, £4.65 postage. I've been collecting these over a few weeks from this year's car boot sales. There's two Lion-O figures from the original Thundercats. One's got the glove, unfortunately. I haven't got the Sword of Omens, or I could have commanded a much bigger price. Snarf, Tigra. The Tigra there is from 1998, I believe, and it's a different uh, line. And Mumra there, but it's got Mumra, unfortunately, doesn't have any of his bits and pieces, which is annoying. And there's a little jigsaw, or whatever you call that kind of contraption at the back with lion -O. So you're looking at a few quid per item. I wouldn't have paid any more than a pound each. You're looking at around a five or possibly 650 for snarf as low as 379 but that's got th uh, 340 postage as well for lion -O. so i've got two of those and a mumra as well it goes for similar kind of value i don't know maybe 22 pounds for the lot and of course you've got the uh, little puzzle game as well car boot sale ah, i took a punt at this pirates of the caribbean at World's End, which is obviously one of the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean movies. I, I've got to admit, I've never seen any of them. It's n never really appealed. The only one I could find sold for £12 with two ninety five postage. So I've put mine up for around 20 I think. There's another one here, which I got at the same car boot sale for a pound. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, Micro Pirate World Playset. I could only find one that had sold as well, which went for fourteen ninety nine. Again, for a quid. What can you say? Uh, three ninety nine postage there. So let's say twenty quid again. And this one here, you might recognise. It's Teddy Rook Spin. Unfortunately, though, it isn't the one that's worth mega value. That's the nineteen eighty six model. This is a nineteen ninety eight World of Teddy Rook Spin. It doesn't work, unfortunately. I paid £2 at a car boot sale. The prices are all over the place, uh, from £41 to £15, and everywhere in between, and even higher if you got it in the box, but I don't, and this one's fairly well used. I don't know, let's say 17 18 19 possibly 20 quid. Car boot sale find, Cluedo. I brought this one on a whim again, because Harry Potter's, you know, extremely popular franchise again not something of any interest in if i'm being honest more of a lord of the rings man as long as you've got all the bits there you're looking maybe 10 to 20 there's one there 30 oh, i don't know 15 quid on a good day decent return on my pound it might be waiting around a while mind always grabbing sonic stuff when i can find it this is the sonic x franchise which was produced by Gush International from 2006. There's two of them there. The only one that I could find quite quickly sold for £5.99 with £2.99 postage and packaging. I'm selling mine as a small bundle, so let's say around 14 15 quid for the two. Now, these are part of a much bigger bundle that I spent £8 on, but I'll go over these right now it's ghostbusters and they vary in dates and in actual lines winston there which is a vintage store by kenner from 1984 if he's got his um proton pack it's worth more money unfortunately mine doesn't he's got a bit of wear so you're looking at anywhere between 99 pence and 9.99 then we have a super fright winston from the real Ghostbusters cartoon series. That was in 1989. And that's another Kenner figure. £6 approximately with 2 95 PMP. And of course Egon. Doesn't go for a lot really. 3 99 £2. Including a bit on the postage. And last but not least. Granny Cross. 1988. Kenner action figure. 
Yeah, so you're looking at three, four quid there, possibly a fiver. So in total, let's say, I might ask around 18, 50, possibly 20 quid for that lot. Get rid of them. But again, as I say, I spent eight pounds on a job lot of stuff. And to be fair, I've got some really decent pieces in there. So it's just pure profit, really. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, very popular, semi-cult-like tv show i picked up two items in the same week one from a charity shop and one from a car boot sale i paid a pound for the board game and i'm looking at something like between three and eight pounds but then again i have seen one go here for 20 and also the watcher's guide there and i've seen one go for eight pound 95 the best thing to do with these is to bundle them together and maybe go in at something like 15 to 17 pounds. I paid a pound again for the watcher's guide. So again, good profit. It might be hanging around a bit. I don't know. But if it doesn't sell and I get more buffy stuff, I shall just build up a bigger and bigger job lot. Of course, the boot sale season's in full swing, although we've had a bit of bad weather. Hopefully the weather's going to be improving. And thank you very much for watching. Much appreciated. In a bit.